welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis uh, so for today's video I thought we would work on we would do a bit of a color and chat and we're going to be working on the Mulan cross stitch that I was sent for review for one day saving uh, and it is a 40 by 51 centimeters and it's stitching on 11 count Ada so you just seen me do the unboxing to this kit a little while ago i said i'd work some off camera and then we would come on camera and we'd work a little bit on camera and we'd do a little bit of a kind of a stitching chat while we we're at it so i've got my threads there got them all ready got my scissors ready and i've got my little scissor fob my Disney Sleeping Beauty themed. Got my beeswax and I'll let you know how I got on how I'm getting on with that in a minute. So before we do anything else, we'll have a look at what I've actually stitched at the minute. So it is a little bit of a kind of a hot mess. Nothing to worry about. But as you can see from here, I've actually I've been working on the black part. I've stitched a fair bit of the black part because all this yellow is actually stitched in black uh, which can make it feel a little bit tedious but what I'm finding that helps is if I work a little bit on the colours where you've got the confetti bits and then work a bit on the black part and then do it like that then it doesn't seem as bad um, what I've actually been doing is where I've got the colours like the confetti bits, I've actually been parking my threads. Now, this is an, kind of a new thing for me because I never park my threads. <laughs> I definitely haven't done it on a counted cross stitch, let alone a, well, definitely not a stamped. But I'm just finding it easier to do this because obviously you've got certain parts of like colours up here and then you don't need them around there and to, to save having to snip them off again it just makes it easy just to thread them through on the next colour and leave it like that and of how of because they were going a bit all over the place um so I've just used a hair clip to try and clip them together so yeah it is a little bit messy and I do apologise about that so what i've been doing every time i've been using my well every time i've been working on this kit and using my threads i've actually been using this beeswax that uh one day saving sent with the kit this was a new thing to me i'm sure i've seen beeswax before but i've seen it mostly like for diamond painting but i've never seen much of it for cross stitch but it's supposed to help to make your thread a lot easier so what i've been doing is basically you can see here <laughs> the different colors where i've been pulling my threads through i've just been hooking them over putting my finger on them then just pulling the threads through so they get the wax on so you can see reminiscence of the colored threads on the top uh what do i think of this at the mini? It's good, I like it. I'm not going to say it's absolutely preventing my thread from knotting up because I'm still getting the knotting in my threads. But that could be just me because the fact that I do have a long tail of thread when I'm cross stitching like for this here for instance, that's a big tail that is. But it's just the way I work, it's how I've always worked. So that could be down to me, it's not necessarily the actual thread and it's not necessarily um, the bees of wax not working. It does help, a I do find it does help a little bit because it's not seemed as if it's not in so much. But I'm not going to say it completely prevents it. However, I am using that every time I do take out a new thread to do a bit of stitching now so uh, would i recommend getting this yeah definitely i would recommend you getting it like i said with the threads it could be the fact that i'm cutting a very very long piece of thread 
why it gets knotted easy so that could just be down to me um however i do think it does help so and as well i think i'm sure i read this was only about three pound odd on their website so for three for about four pound roughly i so that's definitely worth purchasing so what bit well am i working on i'm going to zoom you in a little bit i do apologize guys if the lighting outside is a bit funny today it's because it's quite sunny outside we've got really nice blue skies a couple of clouds but not too much but yeah it can make the filming a bit funny so at the minute i've been working on this black thread here so we will work on that little bit got my needle minder here now i was going to put this on my lap and stitch however i don't know for some reason it just seems a lot easier doing it this way so i'm just hooking my thread through there now i never used to stitch this way it's only watching uh youtube channels that I've recently started stitching this way on stamped kits. I don't do it this way on counted. I just do it in my normal way. But on stamped, I always do it this way. So you can see here where I've got the different colours as well. Um, there, that was weird because I only had one square of that colour. And I haven't got the same square over here. So it's literally just that one square. <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit awkward. So I hope that's not too close for you guys. I do apologise at any time. It does go a bit blurry. Um, It's a bit hard to be able to see if it doesn't while I'm stitching at the same time. So how is everybody? I hope you're all keeping well. I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't entirely sure that I was going to actually make this video today. I knew that this was the next video I wanted to make, the stitch and chat with a Mulan cross stitch. But I wasn't sure if I was actually going to do the video today because I knew it needed filming. Um... And I might actually load it up tomorrow. It, it'll have to be the evening now because I'm busy in the day. Uh, but yeah, at first I wasn't going to film. But then I thought, well, it'll be three days, four today, since maybe since I uploaded my last video. I cannot film tomorrow, which I'll tell you why in a minute. And I thought the next available day after that is wednesday and i didn't really want to leave it that long so i thought if i film today then we're on monday the 14th round about the 14th i think yeah monday the 14th of march and so i'll probably upload this in the evening on tuesday the 15th um it'll be the evening because tomorrow I have my review appointment with my neurologist regarding my uh, issue, well not issue, regarding my condition, my brain con my condition with my brain. Um, if you've not been following me for that long, I have done a video in the past uh, it was some time last year. It wasn't that late. I think it was about August time. Maybe a bit later. September last year. Um, last April. I was diagnosed with having. Um, with IIH. Which is basically. Uh, intracranial. <laughs> no idiopathic intracranial hypertension and there's a few names for it um it's benign iih which that was the wording that they gave me on basically um on my letters it's not life-threatening but it can cause 
got problems basically I won't go into detail because it is a lot uh, if you do want to know more about it then I'd probably say maybe, maybe look it up look it up um, another name for it is Theo it starts with a Theo I can't remember the thing the first name but it's Tumor Cerebri um, I don't know, w w as soon as you say like a tumour you think oh gosh but it's actually, it's not a brain tumour it's basically what it is, it's a condition that can give you the condi that gives you the symptoms and signs of a brain tumour without having the tumour itself without the actual tumour if I'm making sense um, yeah, it can cause different problems, eye problems, uh, severe migraines and that. Um, I've been on medication for a while for it now and because I was getting really, my eyesight was deteriorating a lot before I was on the meds. Um, I kept going for a couple of seconds at a time, I kept going blind. Um basically near enough on a daily basis but um the medication when i was put on that it it is helped immensely i've not had any problems with that since so um i've not actually met my neurologist before i spoke to him once last year over the phone because it was still like kind of on phone appointments because of the covid and yeah on the meds and tomorrow is where i actually go and have a review and speak to a neurologist so i thought positive things are gonna go okay because like i said i'm not having any visual problems at all at the minute i am still occasionally having the head pressure especially if I've been doing my crafts for a lengthy amount of time or if I'm maybe nervous or something about something I might get the occasional head pressure but nothing like before and like I said the visual problems and um, that's completely that is fine now um when I went for my last ophthalmology appointment uh, it did show up in the scans that I had early papilledema in both my eyes and enlarged scotal as blind spots oh, I don't know yeah but I'm positive things will go okay yeah it's only the way we can isn't it yeah, I'll just be glad when tomorrow's been and gone and it's done with. So I'm hoping that I'd, I'm not in there for too long because I've had to see if my mother-in-law can get my kids from, well, pick up the children from school because um, obviously another thing is my husband, he suffers with severe anxiety and depression. And obviously his anxiety it prevents him from going out the house. Um, do you want me to zoom in a bit more or is it a bit too much? Yeah, his anxiety prevents him from actually going out the house. So he's unable to go and get the little ones from school. My appointments, it's at quarter past twelve. But where I have to go, it's in the next town and I don't drive. Um, I'll get the bus and it's past the town. So, And sometimes you do end up waiting a while in the waiting area. And my, uh, my children, I usually go out at like 20 to 2 to go and pick them up. So it's only like a two hours it gives me. So I thought I need to get that covered just in case I don't make it in time uh, to go and get the little ones from school just so I'm not panicking about needing to get back and and that so I can take my time so that's sorted so, 
I've got that. And then next month is Stitching Retreat. Yay! I am so excited for this. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit, guys. I feel like you squashed up the camera there. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got this Stitching Retreat next month uh, in Crew. I'm really looking forward to that. And I am sharing the room with my buddy, Tish. <laughs> Oh, that'll be good. Some laughs. This is what we could do with. So is that? Ah, no, I need to. No, I need to go through. I need to go diagonal on this one because I've already got a square there. Come on. Stitching always seems to go well until you actually want to show somebody. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So what are you all working on? If you're a stitcher, what are you working on at the moment? Um. Oh gosh, I've been working on a bit of everything. I've been working on this. I've been working on my Harry Potter silhouettes. Oh, I've been working on... I did a little bit on my Disney Winnie the Pooh stamped kit, but I haven't done too much on that because I'm just not really impressed with that one. And I'll wait until I do a uh, floss tube update. But oh gosh, surprise! Guess what? You know how I said in my last floss tubes that I'm struggling to do counted cross stitch at the minute. Well, yesterday I was having a bit of a down day. I think I was just feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> no, um, I was having a bit of a down day. Um, and I really needed some quiet time. I needed some quiet time, some me time. So, actually, no, that wasn't yesterday. Or was it? Yeah, it was yesterday. So, I had some quiet time yesterday. I sat on the bed and I sat. And I thought, you know what, I fancy doing a bit of cross stitch and watching a bit of floss tube. Because cross stitch, guaranteed, always brings me back up out of the pit that I feel like I'm falling in sometimes. So, before I carry on, every now and again you'll find that when you are stitching, your thread tends to knot up like, well, not knot up, but curl up like this. So, I would advise every now and again just to lightly smoothing it out doesn't always work but works for me but anyway yeah um i thought i'd fancy a bit of cross stitch see if uh, it'll help and i thought you know what i haven't worked on my head my heaven and earth design for a while on um oh the red it's not called the red queen it's called queen of arts that's it by Rachel Anderson, that's it, artwork by Rachel Anderson, and I thought, it was on a big frame, and I thought, oh gosh, I really don't want to have to hold that big frame, so I found a smaller, really tight hoop, put it on the small hoop, managed to scrunch up all that uh, fabric, and I got my magnets and hooked the magnets round the fabric onto the hoop, and I spent a little while stitching on that yesterday. So I did do a bit of county cross stitch. And I did it on 25 count. Uh, or it was 28 count even weave. Magic guide. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was what I, need, I needed. I needed that me time. And to work on something that I hadn't worked on. Probably since the October retreat. Um, and it was nice to be able to work on it, so that's where I've been working on. And last night, I did a bit of diamond painting, I finished another section, so I've got one and a half more sections to go, and I've finished the cat diamond painting that I'm doing. And to finish the night off, I started colouring a picture. 
And you know, guys, I haven't coloured for a little while. Well, yeah, I've been a bit of a colouring slum. But I managed to get a picture started and I'd finished that off earlier while I was waiting for my phone to charge up. So yeah, I finished that picture off. So I thought it's another one to go to my end of the month finished pages. So there will be a finished page at the end of this month. I do apologise about that guys if you are a colourist and there wasn't one last month. It's just I didn't do enough pages and um, I thought I'm really... My heart wasn't into it. I thought I don't want to colour it because it has to be done. I want to enjoy the process. I want to colour because I want to. So... Uh, I didn't do that so I thought the couple of pages that I did do I'd carry it over and do them the end of this month so I'll be doing that so I have got something to show you at the end of this month I promise because I've got a couple of books uh, stacked up when I worked in so I'll like get something to show you then I probably won't have a haul though because I just haven't been buying any supplies um guaranteed i was a little bit naughty before with my diamond painting <laughs> well not really naughty um i have oh gosh i'll tell you something i'll be so tempted to have a look on diamond art club um but yeah, I haven't. <laughs> but I've actually been doing a lot of stitching, uh, especially the stamped cross stitches. So yeah, I've been working on these lately. I'm just absolutely loving it. Really, really loving it. And um, my husband, what he's done is... He, for Mother's Day, he asked what I wanted was, well, well, I've got a lot of colouring stuff. Um, so, he's ordered me three stamped more, three more stamped cross-stitch kits. So, I've got those coming. Oh, obviously, I won't be opening them till actual Mother's Day. Um, but yeah, dead excited for that. So we'll probably have a new start. So when I get a smaller tile, oh, this ain't much of a smaller tile, but when I do, it's a bit hard to go back and then go forward again. So I'm just rocking it around. Does anyone ever find that when they're stitching the mumbling? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do. So what I'll do with this video as well guys, I'm going to mention it before I run out of time, is one day saving. They did provide me with a discount code for you guys a little while ago. So I am going to leave that in the descriptions below. Uh, it's a 5% discount code. So I will leave that with you guys if you want to go and check them out. Oh, definitely worth checking because they have some lovely designs on there. So I know I love these ones. I, I it seems a lot that years. Well, that there's a lot of black, but to be fair with me, it don't really bother me because I'm still enjoying the stitching process. Um, mostly the stamped cross stitch kits all stitch freehand like I'm doing now uh, however when the material does go a bit more softer I may go on to using a hoop well not so much a hoop because sometimes getting fabric in a hoop can be tough and especially this fabric because if it being 11 count it's really thick and rough so it can be really tough to get this in a hoop um you can get them in a hoop because i've got them in a hoop before um i know a boogie stitcher she stitches hers in a hoop but i stitch a lot of mine in a 
frame in a Q-snap. So I may go on to using the Q-snap now and again. But yeah, I'll use the Q-snap and then I'll take it out, stitch it freehand and then I might put it back in the Q-snap again. Sorry, my head touched the camera then. So I'm going to, afraid I'm going to have to leave it here for now guys. It's gone really quick. We're up to 25 minutes. Yeah, we've only stitched black. I apologise about that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so yeah, how am I getting on with this overall at the minute? I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. I really do love it. I like the fact that the edges are surged. Because I'm finding I'm not getting any fraying at all with the canvas itself. Uh, the fact that it's got a lot of black in it, it's not bothering me because, like I said, you've got your more confetti stitches here. So I'm swapping and changing. I'm working on the black and then I'm doing a bit of confetti and then back on the black. Um, the symbols are really clear to see. This is actually one of the best ones that I've got with the clear symbols. I am enjoying it a lot. I really do love it. Um, as for the beeswax... Uh, I'm not going to say it completely prevents your thread from knotting because that's not the case with me. However, like I said, it could be the fact that I do use a long piece of thread, so that could be down to me. However, it does actually help to minimise how much it knots up. So I am still using the beeswax and I can see this lasting me a very long time. So guys, that is where we're going to leave it for for now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. Um, I would really appreciate that. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. So goodbye for now, guys. Bye.